Hello, YouTubers. It's me, Mr. Zero. I'm Mr. Zero's Terror Ride! Enjoying some uh, chicken tenders, I guess is what these are put on. By a local, a regional restaurant out here. Um, Utah, Idaho. I don't know how many other states they are, but I know they're in Utah and Idaho. Arctic Circle. Um, the only reason why I bring this up is it was a video I was going to make a while back. Um, according to Wikipedia, Arctic Circle are not are the creators of fry sauce, um, which is supposedly a regional thing too, out here in the um, West, in particular. Utah, and um, Idaho, it's a big thing, that with your fries, you have fry sauce, rather than ketchup or barbecue sauce or mayonnaise, I've heard people use for mustard, and interestingly enough, fry sauce was created at Arctic Circle. And if you get their package of it, it says right on it what's in it. It's a three to it's a two to one ratio, mayonnaise to ketchup. Two to one, two parts ketchup, two parts mayo to one part ketchup. Very similar to an early version of uh, Thousand Islands dressing, homemade Thousand Islands dressing, which was a one to one ratio. Of uh, mayo to ketchup with pickles. Well, that's Thousand Islands dressing. In some places, that's what they use for their special sauce or fry sauce. It's just th Thousand Islands dressing. But nope, Arctic Circle. You take your ketchup, take your mayo. Two parts mayo, one part ketchup. And that's your fry sauce. And today, I did have some fry sauce from there. Yeah, I see, theirs is up there, amongst the best. Some dudes fry sauce, which is a brand. It's not my personal favorite. Some people like it. I think there's too much put in it. I think it's best when it's simple. And what's interesting, I don't know if other people do this. I've seen plenty of people in Utah do this, but if they can't get fry sauce, they will say, well, can I have some ketchup? And some mayo, and they'll sit there and they'll mix it to whatever degree they like, and make their own fry sauce. Anyone who watches my videos that aren't from Utah or Idaho or anywhere, tell me if you guys have any particular sauces you like to eat with your fries rather than ketchup. And it depends on the restaurant I'm in and whose fries. If I'm in Chick-fil-A and I'm getting those waffle fries, ketchup. Every time. But, Arctic Circle. I like their fry sauce. Carl's Jr. Fry sauce. In and out. Out here just calls it dressing. So do you want dressing on your fries? You say yeah. But it's still pretty much fry sauce. Now I'm gonna get comments. I know. People are gonna comment. You're such a fat pig eating that chicken barbecue sauce. You're right. I'm also a fat pig having my Mountain Dew, too. In the movie Invention of Lying, they talk about the popularity of Coke. And there's a sign that says, Pepsi, for when there's no Coke. Well, for me, if there isn't Coke, then give me a Mountain Dew, then.
I just got to the point now with Mountain Dew. I was like, do you guys have Pepsi products or Coke products? And they'll sit there and say, we've got Coke. And I'll say, do you have Vault, Mellow Yellow, Kick? What do you guys have? Do you guys have anything that's Mountain Dew related? No? All right. Fine. I'll have a Coke. And I do like Coke. Nothing beats a Coke. Don't get me wrong. Once I drink that Coke, I'm like, oh, yeah, I like Coke. Okay. But if there's an opportunity for Mountain Dew, that's usually what I drink. It's just I'm a creature of habit, and that's my habit. Hope you enjoyed my useless and silly, stupid video about some local color and history about fry sauce. Uh, again, fry sauce invented, according to Wikipedia, Arctic Circle, back in 1942. Two parts mayo, one part ketchup, as opposed to Thousand Islands dressing, which is one part mayo to one part ketchup with pickles. In communication!